There's nothing like being on the road. We got to keep this moving forward. Yeah. <laughs> This is the day area to the park. There's no camping here, but it's pretty nice. You can come down here and there's plenty of parking spaces. They have benches with grills. So if you wanna have a family day out by the lake, out here, it's Pretty nice. Now right above where that truck is, over that hill, back over there is the camping area. So they have two um, potties. <laughs> There's one um, over there by the truck and then there is another one right here. It's raining. What does a girl do in the van in the rain? I am at a new campsite in Missouri. It's raining, but it's a beautiful campsite. It's not supposed to rain all night, so that's a good thing. It's supposed to stop in about a half hour, 40 minutes. Nice sight. It's free camping. You can stay here for 14 consecutive days within the 30 day period for free. Lake Dorado Conservation Area in Missouri. Well, I just, I just kind of got to my campsite. I've probably been here about 45 minutes, just trying to get situated. It is a wet, rainy day. It's all right because it's not hot and it's not cold. So, you know, we got to take something. So I'm going to take the rain because it's not hot and it's not cold. I don't really have cell service here, but I feel okay to stay at this campsite right now. Um, there's two other people here um, right now. So there's a few free campsites, but I'm not sure how many yet. I didn't really go out and explore. I'll do that probably tomorrow, or I'll do that tomorrow when it's not raining. And it's so beautiful out. I'm not going to put my windshield cover up because I'm really kind of enjoying the scenery. This curtain could move back, but I'm really enjoying the scenery. Where I'm parked, I am facing the lake, Lake Grotto, if I hope I said that right. But it's right in front of me, so it's a perfect picture, so. I'm not going to cover that. Instead, I'll just make sure these are covered um, to give me some privacy in the back. But I'm just going to show kind of like how I maneuver in this space. <laughs> because I'm going to probably get my, well, probably, ain't no probably. I will get my DVD player. And it's under the bed. 
So, and I gotta show you guys how I remove maneuver around such a tight space. So let me turn this around so I can show you guys what I'm working with, okay? So this is the floor side and I still got pretty good room space. I took my shoes off there. I should, probably should have put them in a bag because they were kind of wet, but oh my gosh. Okay. Anyhow, I have my hygiene bag and my paperwork bag, my books, my writings, my notebooks. Not my books. I meant my note, my notebooks, mail. All of that stuff kind of goes into here. <laughs> you guys, my mom laughed at me. <laughs> she was like, girl, do you have enough pens? You see all them pens, y'all. You see, pens, sticky pads, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so that's what I kind of keep in there. So what I'm going to do is take the backpack and this bag and put those in the front seat. I'm sorry if you hear a little buzzing noise. That's just my fan blowing. So I'm just going to set these in the front. Right there. And backpack or hygiene bag. My shower bag, I should say. In the front. Unfortunately, this is wet from being outside, so I'll just kind of lay that flat right there so that can dry, hopefully. And then what I need to do now is get under the bed. So I just get on my knees and just plop my butt right here. <laughs> okay y'all I just plop my butt right there see like that like just like that just like that y'all can't see me it's dark okay so we're gonna go under the bed so under my bed it's pretty organized under here so I believe this blue one has my DVD player so uh no the one behind it so I just pull it out and there's another one behind it you just slide it out yep here is my my waffle iron and here is the DVD player okay got that and Let's see what movie we're going to watch tonight. I don't know how to download movies, guys. I really don't. So, maybe I need some help on that. Okay. I already watched that. I already watched that. I already watched that. Watch that. Watch that. I thought I had some newer ones in here. Can't watch that because that's Blu-ray. Do we want to watch um, love movies? Do we? Do we? And, um, um, no. I already watched this. Harriet. Watch that. Just Mercy. Did I watch all my movies? Oh my goodness. This is not good, guys. Well... It looked like I'm going to have to watch something that I didn't already seen, y'all. <laughs> that one was a good movie. It was funny to me. It was funny. <clears throat> yeah. 
yeah little <laughs> uh thor seen that jason's lyrics is one of my favorite movies one of my many favorites well it looks like i'm gonna have to watch something that i have already seen actually I got some Nicolas Cage in the house. So, and it's not open. I mean, I'm sure I've seen all of these in my past, but that was probably a long time ago. So we're just gonna watch some of this. There is one, two, six films in one DVD. So I'm pretty sure one or two will do the job. So I'm just gonna put everything back in their rightful place. This is my, my vitamin, my vitamin, um, container where I try to make my immune system as strong as possible without overdosing. Okay. So once I'm done with that, I just slide it under the bed and push it back and grab the other one. It's really light. And in here, it's just face rags, more feminine stuff, cotton balls, you know, um, ear swabs and just stuff like that. Contacts. I do wear contacts, but I never wear them. It's too much of a hassle. So, let me turn this around. So, y'all... <laughs> That's how I maneuver it. That's why I like having this open space because from this spot with my door closed, I can literally access everything in my van besides, well, actually I could if I wanted to, the stove and stuff like the two burner stove that's in the back, but I don't use the two burner stove inside my van. I only use the one burner stove inside the van because I'm only usually either, if I'm cooking inside, it's gonna be heating up some soup, grilled cheese sandwich, or something minor like coffee and tea that I do inside the van because I, I can't, I don't see myself doing heavy cooking inside my van unless it's like a crock pot throw it in a pot and forget it because the smell the grease and all that stuff I just don't want it getting to places inside the van whatever so anyways I'm gonna get my big butt up <laughs> yeah gotta have good knees y'all okay or set your van up so that you might not have to go on the floor like I did that's kind of how I man maneuver if you haven't noticed back here guys I took some pillows out I don't know if you can see let me get a light can you see back here I took some pillows out so it makes this area uh, my it's deflating there's a hole in it oh gosh still works though but I did take some pillows out um, be, to add more space. So I'm down to only two pillows now. <laughs> and plus, I really didn't need the down comp. Oh my gosh. You guys can't see me. Plus, I really didn't need the down comforter. Um, I don't really need my sleeping bag right now. Um, so I kind of... And I didn't really never, that one pillow, that, I, that gray pillow, I don't know if you've seen my videos, but I had a gray pillow that kind of sits up that you can lean back on. I never really used it. <laughs> I never really used it. So I left that at my mom's as well. Over here, I got my Jackery, my DVD player, and my DVD. So... This is what I'm going to be doing tonight is watching 
from Nicolas Cage. Has anybody else's Lucy Lou deflated? Well, guys, I'm about to watch this movie, so I'm going to catch y'all in the morning. You might run into a snake out here. <laughs> wow. I'm not gonna hurt you guy. I'm just filming you. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> 